On this Wednesday morning is the COVID-19 situation here in South Korea. We are expecting to see another record number of new daily COVID-19 infections. This comes as concerns rise that a cluster infection of the Omicron variant among members of a church in Incheon is now here in Seoul. For more on this and other related updates, joining us in the studio is our reporter Shin Yeun. Good morning, Yeun. Good morning. So like always, Yen, let's start with the numbers of new COVID-19 infections today. Uh, usually the figures are relatively higher on Wednesdays. What are we expecting today? You're absolutely right. We're actually expecting to see the highest tally ever reported here in the country. Wednesday's figures will surpass 6,000 and maybe even reach the low 7,000s because up to 9 p.m. Tuesday, the country reported the highest number ever reported during this time at 5,704. This was 2,146 more than what had been reported at the same time the day before and 1,847 more than the same time last week. And tell us about the Omicron variant. We know it's here in South Korea now. How is that situation unfolding? Well, on Tuesday, we saw the number of Omicron cases in the country go up by 12, bringing the total identified to 36. There are worries that the cluster outbreak found at a church in Incheon could have now spread to universities in Seoul as three students attended the church. One student had come into contact with a total of 139 students in the library and 30 more at an offline class. What's worrisome is that some of the Omicron infections we've witnessed so far have been transmitted very quickly. One person has been infected by just being inside the same restaurant as an individual with Omicron. As a matter of fact, they had only come into contact for one to two minutes, prompting authorities to say that Omicron seems to be much more transmissible than the Delta variant. They added there's a very high chance that Omicron could spread, spread through the air, which means the variant could spread not just through direct contact, but by staying in a closed space for a considerable period of time with someone that has been infected. It remains to be seen just how contagious um, Omicron is and how easily it can spread compared to other variants. So like you've just said, we still don't know much about Omicron, but you know, how much longer should we wait to, you know, more to know more details about Omicron and how will it affect us? Right, that's a very good question that many have been asking. Um, experts around the world say that it may take two to three more weeks. At the moment, they're studying how easily the Omicron variant can be passed from one person to another. Early data suggests that current COVID-19 vaccines can prevent Omicron patients from uh, can prevent Omicron patients from developing severe illness or symptoms. In the U.S., Dr. Anthony Fauci, the head of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, said Omicron is quote almost certainly not more severe than, del than Delta. While talking to news outlets on Tuesday, Fauci cited data from South Africa. He said the ratio between the number of infections and the number of hospitalizations seemed to be less than the Delta variant. He added that Omicron seems much more transmissible than Delta because it had spread to more than 50 countries since it was first detected roughly a month ago. Yet again, we'll s we still need to see more data and see whether this case is really true. Right, so what you're saying is we still don't have a clear picture of how contagious uh, Omicron variant right. is. But what we do know is that it is spreading across various parts of the world. So tell us more about that. Right, if I could start off with South Africa, the first country the Omicron variant was detected. The variant is now the dominant strain there. 228 have been confirmed with this strain. Along with the uptick in Omicron cases, daily COVID-19 cases have also jumped nearly 40-fold over the last month from around an average of 270 to 10,600 per day. The Maldives have also seen its first case of the Omicron variant on Tuesday in a tourist from South Africa who arrived arrived in the country on November 27th. This tourist had arrived before the Maldivian government banned travel to the Maldives from eight countries in Africa, including South Africa. Now, Israel, boasting one of the highest vaccination rates in the world, has also seen Omicron cases go up. The number rose to 21 on Monday. The health ministry said of the 21 cases, 13 were fully protected, which in Israel means anyone who has received a booster shot, recovered from COVID-19, or received their initial two vaccine shots within the past six months. All right, Ian, thank you for your report. We hope you stay protected as well. Talk to you again tomorrow. Thank you.